All right, so it is possible uh, to use Google Meet on an iPad as well. This is particularly handy if you like using a stylus or the Apple Pencil, uh, which might be handy. Um, so I'm gonna go to the App Store, I'm gonna go to Search, and I'm going to type Meet with two E's as opposed to M-E-A-T. Uh, okay, so then you'll get um, this. It says Hangouts Meet by Google. You can go ahead and download that. It's free. You already own this app, so it will download now at no additional charge. Great. Okay, so it's there it is. It's loading on my screen. And installing. So then I'm going to click it. And it's going to ask me who I am and whatever. I'll say continue. It would like to have access to my microphone. That's going to be important. So I'll say okay. It would like to access my camera. I'm going to say okay. And then I'm going to sign in. And I am mperro at elmwood.ca. Okay, so here we go. Now I can start a meeting. So uh, what I'll do is I'll say new meeting. And there we go, I've created a new meeting and it gives me the URL there. I can say share joining info and copy. And then I could go over to Schoology as an example and then create a new update. It says join class. And then I'll paste the message that uh, Google Meet just created for me and I'll say done and check mark. So now that'll post on to my Schoology class page and you can see there's my message. And uh, so my students can just push that link from their iPad, their MacBook, whatever they're using. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back into Google Meet here. So why would you wanna use this on your iPad? It gives you a bit of flexibility. Um, it has some benefits, um, maybe, to the MacBook app, um, for example, if you want to use a stylus. So how do I do that? I'm going to turn on uh, screen sharing on the iPad. So to do that, I can push the triple dot button over here and I can say uh, present screen. So I'm going to do that. And when I say present the screen, it says, okay, screen broadcast. It's going to start broadcasting using Google Meet. So I say start broadcast. Something to keep in mind, it says everything on your screen, including notifications, will be recorded. So enable do not disturb mode to prevent unexpected notifications. So if I want to do that before I start, I just pull down from the corner and just make sure this moon is switched on. That's your do not disturb mode. That means that none of those messages or text messages from family members or whatever will pop up on your screen while you're presenting to students. Okay, so let's start the broadcast. So when I do that, it counts down three, two, one, and starts. And then I can just click in the background here, uh, open any app I want. So I might want, for example, to use an app like um, Google Notes, or sorry, not Google Notes, Apple's Notes app. And then I could literally come in here, use my Apple Pencil, and write whatever I want. Okay, so you could do, this might be particularly good if you're doing a math lesson. I should have better penmanship. Five plus four equals nine, check. All right, uh, other apps you could use uh, include Notability. Notability is a great app that a lot of our teachers are using right now. So you can see, I already started a pretty compelling math lesson uh, right here. Um, and one nice thing about Notability is when you're done, you can share the notes with your students. You can do the same thing with Apple, Apple's Notes program as well. Um, so uh, all this time I am broadcasting this over Google Meet. When I'm done uh, and I wanna stop broadcasting my screen, I just push this little button up here. It won't end the call, but it will stop my screen from broadcasting. So screen broadcasting will stop. So I'll say stop. And then I'm gonna switch back to Google Meet. There we go. broadcast anymore. So I'll just kind of click in the background and it goes back to this mode there. I have a dirty screen. Holy cow. Uh, I can turn my camera back on if I wanted to at this point. Uh, incidentally, if you don't want to have your camera on, you 
probably don't have to. You can decide what style of Google Meet is best for you if you think it's a tool that will work for distance education. When you're done uh, your meeting, just like in the desktop app, you can go ahead and push the uh, hang up button right down here and that ends your meeting, just like that. And we're all done. So that is how it works. You can always rejoin the meeting if the thing drops. If you drop out of the meeting uh, while, you know, maybe your internet goes down or something like that, you can just click on, on the link here in Schoology and just say, you know, go for it. Open link in Safari. Let's see what happens. Boom. Takes me right to Google Meet. And then I hit my join meeting and then I'm back in. So if for some reason the call were to drop, you could jump right back in just like that. I hope that is helpful.